Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Welcome back. We're going to do an Oyabon gameplay review. I promised you this about a week ago when we went through the white paper and the overall overview of the game itself. This is a new game for Polygon. It's still in, technically in closed beta. So please understand that as we're, we're walking through uh, the actual gameplay review, I, I was lucky enough to go ahead and get access to the closed beta. Um, so just Keep in mind, and, and I'm trying to highlight this before we really dive in there, it's closed beta. It's got a few features available, but there's a lot more features coming. I'm going to go ahead at the end of the video, show you a sneak peek of a, a video that they put out on Twitter um, probably about a week ago. That shows some of the long-term vision, the, the items that they're testing in-house. That, that's not available in closed beta yet. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to walk through the game. I'm going to show you the different parts of the game. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and uh, give you my feedback, my thoughts of it. Um, it it's a neat game. It, if you watch my video from last week, you understand uh, that it is a mixture between a fighting style and then also uh, gets you up and moving, uh, which allows you to earn and, and help which helps you level up. And you can also find uh, what are called raw boxes uh, that allow you to go ahead and uh, get different NFTs uh, that you can use within the game from the fighting side. Uh, so lots of cool things that are going on with this right now. Um, again, this is for the Polygon network, uh, or I should say the Polygon blockchain. Uh, and before we really dive into this and this show you the gameplay itself, let me go ahead and do the normal disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. So please make sure you do your own research before you jump into any projects, whether it's Wax or Polygon or anything that I show on here. Make sure it's right for your situation and uh, it, it really works for you. These gameplay reviews are just to show you the game itself before you can go ahead uh, out and try it yourself. Uh, maybe if you like it, you can go ahead and jump in. If you don't like it, at least you got to see the gameplay and understand. All right, that is out of the way. So let's go ahead and dive into it. Like I said, this is a mobile app. Uh, I'm What you're going to see from me today is the iOS version of it. Uh, there's also a version of it for Android on Google Play. Uh, so you can go ahead and check that out once the, the open beta uh, is available for you to try out. Uh, in order to get the NFTs, they are on the secondary market for OpenSea. There's no drop that's going on right now. You have to get everything through the secondary market currently. Uh, there will be, I think, eventually more things down the road that maybe either drops or or sales. I'm not I'm not sure of those details yet as far as what other NFTs that are going to be coming out. Uh, you can earn NFTs in the game through the rob boxes, through the the street missions, and I'll show you a street mission uh, as we're going through this video. And then you go ahead and you do fight missions uh, to level up your character and really try and uh, succeed that way. Again, the features are limited right now. There's going to be breeding that's coming. There's going to be upgrading your character, higher rarities that's coming. There's going to be a, uh, a more detailed street missions coming, and I'll show you a clip of that here at the end of the video. But let me stop talking. Let's go ahead and actually dive into it. If you remember from last week's video, and if you didn't see last week's video, I encourage you to go ahead and take a look back at it. Uh, it gives you a lot of the background of, of the game itself, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and dive into it. There are three clans that are in the game, uh, and they all kind of balance out each other for the fighting missions. For example, the dragon uh, usually has an advantage over the Omni, Omni uh, clan, and the Omni clan has an advantage over the Lotus clan, and vice versa. It's like a big cycle. Uh, so keep that in mind as we're going to go in here and take a look at uh, the fighting missions. Um, so I'm going to try and choose ones that have a slight advantage over the other clan doesn't always work out because it's kind of luck of the draw. Uh, so be aware of that as we jump in here. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and jump over uh, to the, the game itself and show you, uh, please understand that this is, uh, again, a mobile version, so it's going to be a much smaller screen than you normally see. It's a little bit different than my normal videos. So let me go ahead and jump over there. All right, we are here inside the game itself. Uh, as you can see, this is the first screen. This is the asset screen. Um, I currently have three different Yukazis. Um, I tried to get one in each of the three clans um, just so I could show you the difference. Uh, each clan, if you saw my video from last week, has its own advantages. Some are focused on mar martial arts. Some are focused on uh, weapons or the bio side of it. Um, so each one there, I'm not going to dive too far into that with, with this video itself, um, but I wanted to show you these. These are the three that I have. Um, 
the next screen on the bottom here is the arena. This is where you go and you go ahead and fight uh, other Yakuza's, Yakuza's, I keep saying Yakuza's, Yakuza. Um, and then you have the street mission, which I'll show you a street mission here in a minute. We'll go ahead and, and talk through that. Uh, the league, which is not available yet, and the market, which is also not available yet. As I mentioned, still closed beta, so there's a lot of functionality that's not there. Uh, if I jump back over here to the asset screen, you're going to see at the top there's a recruit button and an upgrade button, also not available yet. If you want to go ahead and you get to the point where you're ready to recruit uh, and that's available, you have to be level 5, you have to, I think, have a tattoo, and it takes two of your Yakuza's uh, to go ahead and do that recruiting, and you can only recruit a total of five times for each of your Yakuza's. All right, let's go ahead and click on one. This is my main fighter. This guy is the highest level for me. If you look on the screen, you're going to see a number of different things. Um, Every 24 hours, your energy refills, your fight energy refills. All right, you, you have a chance to go ahead and refill it. Uh, as you can see here, I'm going to go ahead and click on refill. And that allows me to do that for a certain number of the in-game tokens. Uh, and then I click on OK. And then it goes, and you can see that it's refilled. I also shows that I'm level 10, that I have uh, the XP there. Uh, that's the total XP that I've earned. If I click on the level, there we go. It's going to show that uh, that I need a certain amount in order to get to the next level, which I may be able to get here depending on if I win some of these fights. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cycle through uh, my different characters to allow me to refill those. Uh, each one of those, this one's going to cost four in-game token. Uh, and this one is, this guy is my street mission guy. He's focused on street missions. Uh, so his luck is as high as I can get it right now, and that's all I'm focused on. Um, just to give you an idea of the strategy that I'm going with, I currently have three of them. Uh, two of them are focused on fighting. One of them is focused on the street missions, and the reason I have it focused on the street mission is so I can try and have the highest luck as possible. It means I, I stink in fights. I get crushed every time with that character in fights, um, but at least my luck's there, so it gives me a higher chance at getting some of the raw boxes uh, which I haven't had any luck with yet, uh, but I, once you get them, you have a chance to go ahead and get some NFTs from it or some more of the in-game token. So that's my strategy going into this. If if I knew what I knew now as far as the drop rate for Rob, I would switch my strategy up for a little bit different. I would probably go with all three as fighters all the way up to level 10 because at level 10, you have the ability to go ahead and reallocate your points um, and you move them around. Uh, so I would probably would have focused on fighting so I could level quicker and then refocused all of my uh, points for that one character to luck. It does cost in-game tokens, so it would be kind of expensive to do that, uh, but it would have been a whole lot quicker of a process. On the bottom here, you have different categories that give you different uh, strengths. Um, it's going to cost me 30 to go ahead and open the slot for a weapon. I don't have any NFTs yet, uh, so this is probably kind of a waste right now, but I'm going to go ahead just for the video itself and open that slot by clicking on confirm. But again, I don't have any uh, of my uh, NFT weapons yet. So at level 10, you can go ahead and open the weapons one uh, and it allows you to go ahead and add an NFT in there. Again, don't have that. All I also have to do is go ahead and click on it and I'd be able to add that in there. All right, let's go ahead and cancel that. Um, in addition, on the bottom here, you see four different uh, skills or attributes, I guess you could call it. You have strength, end sticks, uh, aggression and luck. Luck obviously focuses on uh, your street missions in order to find rob boxes. The other three are focused on fighting. Depending on the character and depending on the RNG of your role of when it was minted, you may have a little bit of higher uh, in one of the attributes than the others. Uh, for this character, I had a higher strength on the mint role. Uh, so that's where I've been focusing a lot of my skills. If I switch over to this one, uh, you can see I had strength and also uh, instincts were, were kind of high so I've been focused on leveling those up and then as you can see here I actually have some skill points that I'll go ahead and spend so all you have to do is click on the points where it says two and you have that little highlight thing and it's going to show you this and allows you to place your uh, skill points for common uh, Yakuza's every time you level you get two skill points for rare it's three Epic is four and so on up the chain. So I only got two here. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add one to my instinct and one to my strength. 
And there we go, we have the base in there and all I have to do is click on confirm and I can go ahead and it saves it. So now I'm ready for the fight for this one. And you can see this one actually can level up if you look at the, the level, you see those little red dots. The red dot means it's there's something that you can do actively there. Uh, since there's, if you go back and you see this one, there's no red dot uh, by the level 10 uh, because I can't upgrade him right now to the next level, but her, I can go ahead and upgrade when I'm ready. I'm gonna go ahead and run fighting missions first before I do that process, uh, just so they're available for the fights. And then you got my street mission guy right here who's got 21 luck because since I focus completely on that. Uh, we're going to fight with him first because he's going to lose. <laughs> it's that simple. Uh, he just he has no skills in fighting and everyone he fights against is, is focused on fighting. So we're going to go ahead over and I, you got to click out of this or click back and it takes you back to the screen. Uh, on the top here just quick you also have items which I don't have any and other items is, is weapons. Um, other is, I believe, tattoos, which I don't have either of those. Uh, but let's go to the arena and let's go ahead and fight. We're going to start with this first guy here. Uh, again, my, my street mission guy, just because he's going to lose miserably. Uh, and you click on fight. And when you click on fight, it's going to pull up a random person that you're going to fight against. Uh, again, the Lotus Notes is stronger against... Uh, not no, Lotus, Lotus Notes. Lotus Clan is stronger than, against the Dragon Clan, which is uh, the, the person down here. Still, his stats are a whole lot higher than me, but we'll take any advantage we can. Click accept. Um, you have the opportunity to decline two of your fighting opponents. Uh, and when you decline against them, the third one automatically will be accepted. You can see when you go ahead and fight someone, there's this cool graphics. Like I, I love the art style of this. This is a lot of fun. I'm not a big anime fan. Uh, just not into it. But I like how they add that in here as part of the fighting. You can see I lost. Uh, when I lost, I did gain 10 XP, which is good because that's getting me closer to that level. Uh, I did earn 1.48 of the in-game token, none of the gold one. And then I go ahead and close. You have the ability to go ahead and fight twice every 24 hours. Uh, so let's go ahead and fight while I'm talking here. Uh, and then at the 24-hour the mark, which is 0 uh, UTC, um, you go ahead and it resets and allows you to go ahead and refill it. And then you can go ahead and fight again. Uh, you must fight with each of your characters every single day. Uh, otherwise, you get a penalty with the street missions. That's basically the penalty, uh, the regeneration of that energy, which we'll talk about here in a second, um, goes much slower. You should be able to refill your, your street mission energy every 24 hours. Uh, the penalty will make it, it makes it roughly every 48 hours. I could be wrong on that exact number, uh, but it does make it much slower. So you can see I lost again here, similar results from it. Uh, but we'll go ahead, I'm actually able to level this character now, which I'm not going to do now because I want to go ahead and run a, a street mission with him. But I'm able to go ahead and level him for uh, seven of the in-game tokens. Let's go ahead and fight with the other two. Uh, this one, I, I split usually, it's about 50-50 wins. So I want to go ahead and, and, since he's in the Dragon Clan, I want to go find someone in the Omni Clan. Uh, and then we'll see, that's Lotus. I'm actually tough against Lotus, so we're going to decline that. And then we're going to take the next. This one's Dragon, uh, but his stats are high. Man, I don't know if he has any, he doesn't have any or any weapons. He's just good rule. So I'm going to decline that, and it's automatically going to accept this. So uh, no matter who I'm against, uh, thankfully it's against Omni, so I have a better chance at winning. Uh, I'm not saying I will win, um, but as you can see, it automatically accepted it. So you can decline to, uh, but the third one will automatically be accepted. So it gives you at least some flexibility in there, but that third one, you just never know. So I'm going to go ahead and fight here. Hopefully I can win this and show you a win. Uh, obviously the last two, oh, it looks like I lost. I actually lost that one. Got 12 XP from it. Uh, it's it's kind of a, it's really a... a a roll of the dice, it, even if you have that adva that clan advantage uh, and you have similar stats, you still have a good chance that you're going to lose there. Uh, he's a dragon, has similar skills to me, but we'll go ahead and decline that because I'm looking for the Omni. And you can tell the, the clan by the top right of the box, you see that dragon there. We're actually going to go ahead and fight this guy. Um, I'm hoping I have the opportunity to beat this one. Uh, sim same clan, uh, I think my stats are slightly higher. Uh, but again, it's it's complete luck of the draw with these. Uh, and you can have different characters in every single... It looks like I maybe want to... Oh, maybe not. Uh, you can have uh, Yakuza's, the same Yakuza's. Hey, I did win that one. 
um, uh, in each of the clans. So it does one type of Yakuza isn't specifically for one clan. It's mixed match. It's basically a, a roll of the dice. As you can see, I did win this one, and I actually got 30 XP, which is huge. That gives me much closer to the next level also. And I won 4.48, which allows me to... It gives me enough in-game token to go ahead and refill this one uh, tomorrow. So we'll go ahead and we'll quickly go through the last one because I don't want to totally bore you with the fights. Uh, they're, they're very basic. It's very luck of the draw right now. Um, so it's super, super basic, but it will get much better. I think they're going to add some strategy and skill to it, especially as we're able to start getting um, different weapons. Um, also, as the game evolves and they have the breeding, I, I, I call it breeding. They call it in-game recruiting. You can skip this little uh, cartoon, which we'll do on this one. Um, and I won this one too. Cool. So there we go. We got second win of the day, uh, which is a huge amount of XP and also almost six almost six in-game token, which almost pays for my two characters, uh, my other two that I haven't paid for yet. So we'll go ahead and fight with this one one more time, uh, and then we will show you that you can level this one up. Actually, we'll, we'll go ahead and, yeah, we'll level this one up. Um, and we're just taking a look at this. I don't want to fight you. I probably should have fought you now that I'm looking at this one's Lotus, so we'll go ahead and fight uh, Lotus Clan since I have a slight advantage over the Lotus Clan. Uh, and stats are similar to the person I just beat. We'll go ahead and actually skip this one also. And there we go. Actually, with this character, I won two today, uh, which is great because I, I won another four in-game token and 26 XP, which I will definitely be able to level. Now we can go ahead. If you look at the top right, I now have 44 of the in-game token. All right, we're going to jump over here to the street mission, select our walker, and go ahead and click on start walking. Uh, and what I'm doing as I'm going through this is I'm actually walking uh, in my neighborhood. Uh, there's a park that's close by. Uh, so right now, the, the, the street mission, it's pretty standard, uh, but it does get you out and moving. Um, so this is essentially, I have four energy points. Uh, it's two minutes for every energy point, so I have to do at least an eight-minute walk. Again, gets you out and moving. Uh, at the end of that, you actually, I'm going to earn... 28.4 of the in-game token as long as I'm going the whole time and I have a chance of going ahead and getting uh, what I keep referring to as rob boxes. Those are chests that have NFTs in them. Uh, it is really luck of the draw. Like I said, I haven't had much luck with it yet, uh, but I, I've been told as you get higher level and your luck continues to get higher and higher, uh, you have a much better chance of going ahead and being able to get these boxes and they're, and, and they're pretty nice once you get them. Uh, it does take a, a cooldown period to go ahead and open them. Level ones take, I think, uh, 48 hours uh, and then so on as you get higher in the level of the different raw boxes. Um, so a couple of things that you should know about this uh, when you're walking with this. Uh, again, please understand this is closed beta. I can't stress that enough that it is a closed beta uh, because um, if you try, th there's some limitations to uh, this now because it does use GPS. You do need to w walk a certain distance for it to be able to track. If you lose your signal, uh, it automatically stops at the, the, the checkpoint for each of those energy points. Um, I've, I've had a few times where I've tried to walk inside office buildings because uh, it was raining outside. Uh, or I tried to walk in my house because it was raining outside, just the distance around my house. Uh, all of them uh, all of them ended early, uh, whether it was because of a disconnect in an office building uh, or I just didn't walk a far enough distance. Even though I kept walking back and forth in the house, it wasn't a, a long enough distance. I think it was either 50 meters or 100 meters. Um, so GPS is able to really show you the difference. Um, so what I normally do, as you can see, I actually got to the two-minute mark there and everything clicked over. over I earned the 7.1 in-game token and I spent one of the energies. Um, uh, sorry, jumping back. Um, I normally walk this either around my neighborhood or the park close to my neighborhood because um, it gives me uh, plenty of distance. Um, I know roughly how many laps around the park. Uh, it, it takes a little bit, about two laps around the park for it to do the eight minutes. Um, so it's so it's what I normally do with this because I'm outside. It's a long enough distance, uh, and it, I usually don't have any issues. I think I only had one issue where I was out in the park. Uh, and it just didn't process it, so I had to walk it again, which isn't a big deal. Uh, it gets you out there and continues to move. Uh, I think that's one of the big things that attracted me to this game, it's made me want to go ahead and do reviews, is because of the activity side of it. I think it, I think it's big. I think I, I hope more games implement this. 
Um, the neat thing, and I'm going to show you a clip here in a few minutes, um, the neat thing is that, that they're going to be evolving this considerably. They have already have it in their, their pre-testing, uh, where it's going to be a very Pokemon-esque uh, feel to it as far as the actual uh, moving around and trying to find things. Obviously, the art style is not Pokemon-esque, um, but it, it, it allows, it, you are going to go ahead and try and find different things. All right, what I'm going to do since since I went through the basic explanation of this because it doesn't change a lot, um, at least currently, uh, let me fast forward to the ending where it shows that I actually am able to try and get that raw box. Um, so let's go ahead and fast forward it about five minutes here. I guess about four minutes here. All right, we have about a little less than 20 seconds left. As you can continue to see the timer, it's going up to eight minutes. I've already earned 23, 21.3 of the in-game token. Uh, so once it expires here, it's going to go through a process and we'll hopefully get a raw box out of this. Uh, so let's go ahead, let's cross our fingers. It's going to spend all four energy. And here we go, it is processing because it met the time. And unfortunately, I was not able to get the raw box if you take a look at the bottom there. I'm going to click over here. You see it used all my walking energy and it used up some of my juice energy. So I'm going to go ahead and refill that with in-game uh, tokens by clicking on there. And it cost me about seven to refill my juice energy. This is a quick clip that they put on Twitter. I, I wanted to show this is basically what's coming to uh, uh, the, the street missions. Uh, you saw the walking where I just generically walking through. Uh, they're, it's going to be more of a mission aspect. Again, this is on their Twitter, so uh, I'll have a link to their um, website down below. As you can see, uh, it's using AI to go ahead and find, uh, allow you to find different things without with, within your space. Um, it's more of a Pokemon. Uh, it shows you a, a target that you want to walk to, uh, where there may be either a fight or there may be a, a raw box that you can go ahead and find. Um, it just it, it's a neat addition. Um, as you can see here, he's going ahead to try and find something. It gives him a, a nice little a quest or an item uh, to go ahead and find. He clicks start, and then he has to go to that circle to find the box. So he's going to walk through the different area. Uh, until he gets to the, the clearing where he's going to kind of zoom around there and see if he can find uh, the treasure or the raw box itself. This is coming. This is not in the game yet, um, but it's going to be a neat addition that they have to it. Um, I don't know why they made him wear a hood. <laughs> it looks a little shady, but uh, but at least you can go ahead and uh, it, it gives you an idea. You can go ahead and collect. If you walk around, you're trying to find that, that spot using your camera, and then boom, the raw box comes out there. So it, it's a neat uh, addition that they're going to be adding here. Um, let me go ahead and jump back to the site itself. Um, that That's the game itself as of right now. Closed beta, limited features, but a lot of potential. Um, my personal feedback is I can't wait till they add the, the additional one, that, that little clip that we showed at the end there, because it's going to make it a whole lot more meaningful. It's also going to make it a little more challenging because I, I, I like to use this when I'm just walking, either walking the dog or walking around the track. Uh, it's in the local park. Um, this will actually make me <laughs> go ahead in, in different areas and, and try and find something so it's a little more adventurous. Uh, it's, it's kind of whatever your style is. Uh, so that is coming. Um, so let me know in the, the comments down below what, what your thoughts are. Um, I, I, again, I think it's neat. It's a, a, a mobile app that's out there, easy to use on your phone. Uh, gets you out, out there moving, again, for the Polygon blockchain. Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are. Are you going to try and play this? Or do you like the, the art style? Do you like the, the, the walking, the, mogul, the, the mobile street mission aspect? Uh, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.